My name is Samantha, and this is a story that you need to hear. From the time I was little, um, my mother was a single mother. Um, she was married several times, so there were men in and out of our house quite a bit. Um, there was abuse due to the different men that were in our house that happened to me, happened to my sister. Um, and I just felt like we never had a voice to, to speak up for ourselves. No one would ever hear us. Um, when my sister, it happened to her, I was old enough to speak out for her, so I had the opportunity to do that. And once I got that in my blood, it was just there. And I've always had a passion for it. Um, children who have no voice, it's, it's, it's somebody needs to speak up. And, and I just feel like God's put that on my heart. Um, and that's what I intend to do. It's just important to me. It's, it's, I think about it every day. I feel my role in this ministry is to inform people about the need, to help them equip themselves, you know, through training and through support, gathering people within our church family to be a family and to help them out and to support what they're doing. Uh, however I can to help and facilitate finding these children homes, facil facilitating the families to have what they need to make it happen. So I work with The Call. Um, it's a, an, an organization that takes Christian couples and pairs them up with children to be adopted. I'm going to borrow something Stacy said. I don't believe that a village raises a kid. I believe that a church raises a, a child, and, and I believe that that's, that's the goal with The Call. I also work with CASA. And what we do, we are advocates for abuse and neglected children who have come through the system through no fault of their own. It's abuse and neglect. We need CASA because although there are DHS caseworkers assigned to these children, they are supposed to be assigned at the maximum 10 cases. They usually carry a caseload of 40 cases, and that's the norm. And a case can consist of one child or it can consist of up to however many children are on one case, however many are in that household. So they just don't have the time to run children everywhere, to check on them, to do the things that they need to do. They're just overburdened. So I work with CASA, we work in tandem with the caseworkers, and they love CASA. Some of the greatest needs that these children have in foster care and in adoption, um, they need good, safe, loving homes. They need therapeutic homes. That's a great need. We're, we have a shortage of therapeutic homes, people who can deal with children who have severe issues. We need people to step up and just help families who have adopted, um, give them some relief, give them, you know, be a grandparent on call. That's, that's an important thing. We need that. We need our church family to bond together and help these families and support them and encourage them to do the work that they're doing. Uh, some of the obstacles, I think, are fear. Fear is the greatest one, fear of the unknown, fear of, you know, should I bring this child in with my children? Is there going to be, you know, abuse upon abuse? Um, just a fear of having to deal with issues they haven't dealt with before. Nobody's ever equipped. Um, I'm a mother twice over, and I was not equipped for either one of my girls. It's just something that God equips you with as it, as it comes to you. You know, as you approach things, God equips you. You know, if you seek Him, He will be there, and that's all you need. That's all you need. If He's calling you, step out and do it, because He'll fill those needs. What breaks your heart? There's so many things, so many things. Just the thought of a precious little soul being a file in somebody's file cabinet instead of a heart in somebody's home. It's our responsibility. Every single person, it's our responsibility. God has mandated that we do this. Um, these children need us. They don't have, you know, a lot of them don't have their own families that they were born to, but I believe that God creates families. And He creates families through birth, and He creates families through other situations. And I just believe that we have to step up and do what He's called us to do.